Okay, hello my ganja gangsters over there. Today True Detective is going to make you a vlog again and I'm heading out and I'm not smoking ganja today, you know. <laughs> I have a pact with the devil, you know. And my outfit is otherwise fucking perfect, you know. It's freaking freezing out there, so I keep the scarf so like this so my ears don't freeze. But you see this pink color. And I'm going out with these shoes today. They're great. So the fall is progressing quite fast right now and you can see that the colors are changing and it's fucking cold. <laughs> it's fucking cold. Look at those colors. And man, that's a good picture also. It's a windy day so we are going to the forest now. Okay, so the next subject I'm going to be talking in this video is making money as an artist. You know, making money as an artist is kind of a hard thing, and it's doubly hard thing if you live somewhere like I do, because there are zero art galleries over here. I mean zero. And I painted, you know, like abstract paintings. I sold a couple of them on Etsy. And I feel that you can't make good money that way, like, no way. So I'm not going to do a Patreon, I'm not going to ask for donations, I'm not going to do these things because I know that they won't work very good, you know. And I don't think I will apply for any, you know, kind of grants or anything like that from some art thing. I don't think that's a good way either for an artist to go. But when you think about it, that my art is digital, it creates this, you know, possibility. Yeah, you could do prints. Do you know how much hassle there is to print making? Making a good print, shipping it to people. You could do it through some company. But I don't think that's a good way to make money off of art either. I'm also competing, you have to understand, me here in a fucking Finnish forest, one man army is competing against Warner Brothers, is competing against Sony Music because they are on YouTube also. I compete against the biggest motherfuckers, you know, on planet Earth. And I'm no way against these people in any way, you know, that's just their way to go in life. But I'm, I'm kind of against what they're doing to our culture because I see it every day. You know, we have to separate business from culture, even though they fuel each other. If we had a different kind of monetary system, we would have a different kind of culture. Cultures are like built on top of, you know, systems of how we deem things important and how not. Is this like kind of organical in the same way that a tree grows? I feel not. I feel that we put a lot of, you know, these things to make this tree, you know, so to say. Uh, grow in a very, you know, artificial way. And no wonder it's all freaking wobbled, wobbled up, you know. I think we need more, you know, natural design in our world. Uh, something that kind of, you know, something that is created by people who have, you know, been in nature and, you know, have kind of looked at it. Look so if you are a musician, if you are an artist, if you are any type of a creative person, I want this channel right now. I want you to take this challenge with me. I want us to make something completely out of the box, you know. I want us to find a way to get to people without any pre-built system, you know. We, I want something that, you know, kind of is coming out from our human ingenuity, not just using something else that somebody else has created, you know. It's the same way with music, you use instruments, you use these platforms, you use something that has been created by other people and you are wondering why can't I win in this system? Well, of course you can't win in the system that was not created and designed by yourself. Okay, so now to this outfit. I'm gonna tell you that this shirt, this pink color, it kind of irks me, but I think it's fine because yesterday I actually uh, realized that one of the shirts I got just a few days ago that was completely matching to this outfit by the same manufacturer, Paul Smith, uh, was that there was a one button that was cracked in the shirt and the shirt was made in Morocco. And I thought, Morocco? Like, fuck man! I, I was kind of like, no way! And one button, you know, was cracked in the fucking shirt. So I realized I'm gonna return this fucking shit like... 
Okay, so here's the watch right now. There are two cameras over here. But the fact is that cameras can't really help you shit in a real situation. Do you, do you remember Columbine high school shooting? Like, there's the freaking videotape from the cameras, but the cameras couldn't do anything. So do you know what the Americans like invented? They attached guns. They attached guns to cameras. So the security people from uh, like, a, like another continent maybe can like shoot the guys that you know, start acting, acting wild. So, I finished the day and it was great, it was great, you know. I actually did quite a lot of writing and I found this book in the local library, you know, about the Mafia. But it didn't really deal only with the, the Italian Mafia, it also dealt with Russian Mafia and the, and the Yakuza. And I felt that some of the things they told, told in the book were kind of, you know, just bullshit. Okay, so I went to the store just there and now I'm walking back home and it's a great day, it's a great day, it's beautiful. Look at those freaking leaves and the colors in them. Let's go a little bit closer, like, look at, look at this stuff. It's just beautiful in the right, right light everything comes to alive. Yeah. Beautiful. I yeah, I went to the store and I just I, I already ate the product I bought and it's nothing to write home about or to cheer about, but it was fine, it was fine and I think I will survive for the day. <laughs> I will survive. Yeah. Uh, Finland is not F Africa, you know, but it's still possible to know like you know like starve over here. Like it's not impossible to starve in Finland. Uh, it's possible, you know. Anything's possible in Finland, but this is not America, you know. Uh, don't come to Finland to realize your dreams. That won't probably happen. Go to America for that. It was actually very funny today. I talked to this, you know. I I met uh, like a redhead girl, you know, on the street, and I just <laughs> I just started the conversation with her in English. <laughs> it was the funny, it was the funniest thing. It was the funniest thing. I talked to her for a like a, like for a short while in English, <laughs> and then I said, "I'm a Finnish man." <laughs> she was she. Uh, I I don't know if she completely like bought the file. Like, am I that good in English that you could? You couldn't even like tell that I'm a freaking Finnish man. I don't know. Maybe maybe I am. Maybe I am. That's pretty great because I have like if I if I went to somewhere like Great Britain or or United States, I would probably fly there as you know an Ameri American or I would I I I don't sound British. 